Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus, really any placement of Aries. This is going to be your reading for September 1st through September 15th, 2022. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. Uh, we're building to the full moon in Pisces, which will be on September 9th, 10th. I think officially the 10th, but depending on where you live. Also, for those of you who don't know, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. It does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. I've been a full-time master healer for clients globally for over four years now. So the link below to my website, all the information is there. Um, and there's also a 15% discount off your very first session with me. Okay, let's get you an overall energy, Aries. Ooh, I love this message for you. The eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. You know, there's been a common theme with, I feel like, all of the overall energies today, and it has to do with letting go and trusting spirit, trusting the magic, trusting the universe, surrendering something in that way. And the same is true for you, Aries, in the eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. So you've got to trust that even the challenges, even the, you know, difficult things, there is a reason those things happen and those things come up and there's always an area uh, of learning, of growing. And the more you can trust in that, the easier it will be to move through things. So I'm also just seeing, you know, an eagle glides so high in the sky, like I, what flies higher than an eagle? And I'm seeing that spirit is literally on the eagle's back. So it's like the perspective that spirit can see everything, no matter what you are doing and you are being guided the whole way. So beautiful overall energy. Let's see what else we've got for you. Okay, second row is your specific person, those of you dealing with a specific person. Third row is any clarifying messages. Whoops, okay. This came out quick, we'll take them. Okay, starting off Aries. Lots of fire energy. We've got the Eight of, of Wands, the Emperor, and the Five of Wands. So I'm seeing a really dominant, strong, masculine energy around you. This could even be you. Um, things are wanting to move forward, but there's also a little bit of resistance. I'm seeing this like one step forward, one step back, one step forward, one step back type energy with you. And the Emperor here is doing their best to look at the long-term vision, look at the long-term goal. This could even be in relation um, to a relationship that you are in, Aries, where you feel like, okay, things are moving forward, we're doing good, and then wham, things are not good, we're hitting a total wall. And then, okay, things are good, and then wham, we're hitting a wall. So I'm seeing this like back and forth, back and forth energy, which has been really hard for you because you like stability and you like growth. So feeling um, the pushback, after you've had growth, it like throws you off. You, you don't like that. And I'm just seeing that the more that you can do what is needed, Aries, I mean, the emperor is represented by Aries. So the more that you can just stand strong in your beliefs, in your desires, trusting that spirit has your back if you are coming up against something challenging and something difficult. But there is energy that wants to push and move and like help you through. So make sure you're open to that as well. And it's not actually you who is blocking, okay? But really, really strong fire energy. So you could be dealing with another Aries or a Leo or a Sagittarius here. All right, second row is your specific person. What do we need to know about your specific person's energy? Interesting, we've got seven of cups, five of swords, and the king of pentacles. But the king of pentacles energy is looking away from this five of swords and seven of cups. So I'm seeing this as a message for you, Aries, that your specific person 
they are avoiding dealing with some confusion that they have, some challenges that they have. I feel like they might be way too focused on money and like the tangible financial aspect of things and they're missing the connection with spirit. They're missing the connection with the heart. They're missing the connection with you. It's causing arguments, it's causing disagreements and they're over here like oblivious, thinking everything is fine, they're just charging ahead. So I'm really seeing that your specific person needs to slow down for a moment and just take a breath and reconnect in with the heart, with the emotions. <coughs> excuse me, they need to reconnect in with the heart, with the emotions. I feel like that literally just helped open the heart chakra a little bit there. So whoever needed that, <laughs> those sneezes were for you. Um, but this, this confusion that your specific person is carrying, it is blocking their ability to connect with you at a deeper level, okay? That's how it's being shown to me. And because it's being blocked at a deeper level, it's causing more surface stuff like bickering and little disagreements and like little arguments that are just so unnecessary and they are just kind of doing these things and then pretending like it's not their fault okay so your specific person i'm seeing there's room for them to really take responsibility um for what is theirs to you know be taken um let's see what else am i seeing here for you um, strong earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, and I'm also feeling the water in here. So it could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer that you are dealing with, okay? So with Mercury moving retrograde also um, in the next like week or so, the communication and challenges in communication, be open to that because there's a lot of room for growth around communication. So where the bumps are, that's where the growth is possible, okay? Third row, final messages here. We've got the Queen of Cups, the Star card, and the Three of Wands. So I really love these three cards. For you, they're very healing. I'm seeing very grounded, like centered energy. The Star card in the middle is bringing rest, rejuvenation, downtime. I'm seeing you Aries like really connect in with nature and just connect in with yourself while your specific person is dealing with whatever they're dealing with. I'm also seeing that help you kind of balance out this resistance energy um, because there is full, um, there is full opportunities coming in for you here, okay? So the opportunities need to be witnessed, they need to be viewed, they need to be expressed. Um, but you're feeling good about this because this is the outcome and then you've got like the heart, the emotions, the healing happening here and then the opportunities open up. So uh, also areas I'm noticing this queen of um, cups energy is your heart energy. So even though you're having challenges with your specific person, I'm seeing that you are holding your heart space like very strongly um, in a really powerful way. So continue with that. Even if you're getting resistance, even if your specific person is giving you challenges, like stay true to you, stay connected to your heart and your soul, um, you know, and trusting that spirit has your back through that, okay? But I do see that, that things are going to start opening up and shifting here for you with the three of wands. This just brings like opportunity and the desire for action, uh, which is really, really important. So... Okay, we've got strong Aries energy out here, strong Aquarius energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, and then also water, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer are coming through for you. Those are kind of the main, the main ones. Okay, let's see what else we've got for you. Okay, Aries, you've got the meditation card. 
This to me is permission to quiet the mind, to come down into the heart. We've kind of talked about that a little bit here, but the meditation, the disconnecting, the turning off is gonna be really important for you to navigate through some of um, these bumps. And I'm seeing it as an opportunity for you to really connect in with yourself and just stay true to you, even through the challenges. And the meditation also in that space, it like reconnects you with spirit where you can bring your trust that all is well. Spirit has your back. <clears throat> okay, let's get you a spirit animal message and then we'll wrap up. All right, Aries, you've got the black bear, guardian. Gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Oh yes, awaken your intuition and guide you. Beautiful Aries, this is just another message of you really connecting in with yourself while you navigate through some of these challenges with your specific person, okay? So you've got the black bear guardian as your spirit animal message through September 15th. I think that is all that is coming through for you. I hope that resonates. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, uh, your Venus, your Jupiter, really any placement of Aries. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It is a general reading. And uh, thank you for the likes and the subscribes. They really do make a difference. If you missed the intro, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. It doesn't matter where you live. I've been a full-time master healer for clients globally for over four years now. Uh, all the information is on my website, which is listed below. And you'll also see there is a 15% discount off of your very first session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, Aries, I'm wishing you a beautiful start to September, and I will see you back here for the second half of September readings. Take care.